Well, what's up guys? I'm going to replace the power supply unit on the 3D printer, so let's go. Alright, so what happened was I was using the printer and I was testing something with the hotbed. Now, while doing that test, I've somehow burnt out the power supply. I'm uh, not quite sure exactly what's happened. I'll find that out later on. But what I'm going to do is actually replace it and I've gone out and got myself a replacement power supply unit. So as you can see here, this unit has an input of 200 to 240 volt and also the 100 to the 120 volt uh, if you're using it in, let's say, America or somewhere that has a lower voltage. Um, now we have on one side here is the live, neutral and earth. Uh, and we also have the outputs being the voltage positive and the negative. Now over on this side we'll have the adjustment for the voltage if we need to. Now in most cases we don't need to adjust those. Uh, and there's also an LED there to tell if it's actually going on. So just to show you how that's going to work, what I'm going to do now is just show you the 3D printer itself. So how I'm going to test this power supply to ensure that that's the issue is I'm going to flick on the switch here and as you can see the LED on the switch is actually illuminated now so we know that the voltage is fine there but you can see that that LED isn't lighting up so we know that there's an issue there with the transformer. Alright so now that we know that that power supply isn't working anymore. I've tested this one already, it's hooking up the 240 volt and actually switching it on and the LED light comes up and also we've got voltage across the output terminals. So let's go throw it in the printer. All right, so the first thing we're gonna make sure to do is pull out the power and now we're gonna have to disconnect the, all the wires that are connected now make sure to remember and write down where everything goes because you don't want to lose where everything is. Now, looking at the back of this transformer, you can see there's the screw holes where that would actually hold on to the base of the printer. Now if I look on the inside of my printer, you can see there's a couple of screw holes there. Um, a couple of screws that are in there that kind of line up similar. So I'm gonna take a guess and say that that's the way it's being held on. So. There we go, the transformer's out. I can put that aside, making sure I don't mix them up. And we line up the new one. Now we reattach all the cables. Now we plug it back in, switch it on. And there you go. So that's that done. Um, now I've got the old one out here and what I'm gonna actually do is open this one up in another video and let's see if we can find out what the problem is and also if we can fix it and that way I'll have another spare power supply lying around if something happens with the one I've just installed. Now 
it's quite an easy fix so if you're in trouble yourself and you've had this same problem you can change that over yourself quite easily now check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you like the video hit that like button that's about it from me so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time